Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Sim Airport. And, um, oh, that's right. We were, we were going to get this all excited, ready, or I was all excited to get this gate ready to go so we can launch it and start having more planes come in. There we go. That's how English works. I say words. Uh, thank you so much to whoever it was that told me why the zone looks funny over here. And that is because I did not erase all of this nonsense. So there... No, nope. that is not why the floor looks funny over here. Hmm. So why does the floor look funny? Oh, oh, that's because I'm looking at the wrong thing. Planning, planning is why it looks funny over here, not zones. There we go, much better. Thank you very much to whoever did that. Oh, and I erased the bathroom zone entirely, so I need to fix that real quick here. Give me just a moment. Let me erase all that nonsense. And we're going to go uh, female restroom, male restroom, there we go. Sorry guys, I know you really have to go to the bathroom, but uh, it's been resolved. Anytime now you can click back into existence. There we go, back to being a restroom. Great, alright, we've, uh, we've got this door here, so gate D1 is ready to go. I believe we have our our uh, airplane stuff all set up. Now, another question that I got, and I do want to check up on this. Sorry, I had to get that sneeze out first. Another question I got was, why do I build two medium hangers instead of building a large hanger? And because it used to be cheaper to build two medium hangers. So let's take a look. It costs $84,000 to build a large hangar, and it provides five vehicles. So that's Let's see, ten ten thousand dollars would be fifty, so that leaves thirty-four thousand divided by five. That's six sixty eight hundred. So sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars each for a large hanger. Whereas a medium hanger can do three for forty-six thousand dollars, which is fifteen thousand dollars three hundred and thirty-three dollars each. So it's cheaper to build a medium hanger. Now a large hanger takes up relatively less space, right? Like, it doesn't take up twice as much space as a medium hanger, but we're not that hard up for space. So I definitely feel like the medium hanger is the way to go. So there you go. That's why I did that. Uh, did we ever research land expansion? You know what, let's do that. It costs $90,000. We can afford $90,000. We really don't need to do anything with our financial stuff, but we got to keep that... Excuse me, keep that financial guy around. Hey, this uh, we have the upgrade with the chief technology officer. So you know what? Let's go ahead and, and uh, uh, research the technology officer thing. And then we can get the uh, public address system in. Not quite sure what that does exactly, but uh, you know, it'll be good to have it in. Um, no crowds or anything. Even at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we have no crowds, huh? Let's make sure that none of our planes are getting jammed up because that does happen from time to time when you save. And since we're doing so well, we may as... Uh... Oh, that's right. I wanted to uh, I want to put in another runway before we put in another gate. So we, we got to wait a while. We have to wait a while um, before I can uh, put in a medium gate here. I guess I could put in a medium gate there and tear out this small gate and then replace it with a medium gate when uh, when we get the next runway. Or I really could fit a third runway in. It's not like our runways are that crowded. I mean, they're both in use. Well, we don't have this, this additional gate going yet, so you know what? I'm going to hold off on that. Um, don't really have a whole lot going on right now, though. Mostly just waiting for uh, waiting for time to pass, um, so we can. Uh, oh, well, while we're waiting for time to pass, we might as well schedule in some new flights on our new gate here. So uh, if we uh, look at who has a good variety of flights, well, nobody has enough to really fill in our schedule. Um, Galactic Point, well, they have pretty high interest level demand, so I don't really want to bring them on quite yet. Like Pacific Airlines, they're not picky, but they have pretty small planes, so we don't want to bring them in. Star Connect, uh, so that 350 is too, uh, huh, 
wonder why. Oh, it needs an extra large runway. Got it. Could bring in the 320 at night. 150 passengers. Super Alliance, they're all too big anyway. Aero time, so it's probably for the best that I don't um, that I don't put in another gate because we wouldn't be able to put in those flights anyways. Bombardier CJ90, yeah, a 900. That's not a big enough plane as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so that is a morning, no, a nighttime flight. Afternoon arrival. Well, that's easy. So I guess we should be a little conscious of the uh, runway where we place these flights. And uh, it has 180 passengers. So I'll stretch it out just a little bit. There we go. So we do still kind of have a busy runway when it leaves. Wait a minute. Okay, that one has 250. All right, that's fine. Um, let's go back to here. Oh, like I guess it. Oh, no, we can't. Great. All right. Uh, so I still need like two morning flights. Galactic Point, we couldn't do. Smart Air Lux. Ah, look at that. We have a 767 and a 787. That sounds good. 767. 787, I'll take them. Um. So maybe at like 4.30, we need to give you an extra hour, and you will put in, like there should be fine, give you an extra hour. Just leave a bit of a lengthy gap between those two, you know what, don't really need to have the, uh, that staggering should be fine, I would think. All right, so we can get in one more afternoon and one more evening flight. Um, I think we already looked at SparkJet. Star Connect. Their evening flight is a 320. 150 passengers. Super Alliance is too big. A Ford Jet. Afternoon 707, evening 707. That'll be fine. Great. All right, that should fill out our schedule. Um, 180 passengers, so we'll expand that out a little bit. And you go and we'll expand that out a little bit all right all set so we're gonna have one two three four five more flights tomorrow which means lots and lots of more cash coming in tomorrow so that's good we have a very long time to go until we complete the research though on land expansion did it say 96 hours that seems ridiculous This is our last flight of the day, loading up here. No, no, we've got to have at least one more because we've got all these passengers waiting over here too. So I don't know what I was thinking there. All right, people getting off of that plane. People loading onto that plane. Let's zoom in, watch the, uh, watch the excitement for this plane. We haven't done that for a while. And they're gonna hop right on. We're going to move in their way through that queue. Bam, bam, bam. I don't really know that slowing it down is going to help any. But I, I do like that a couple of passengers will walk up to the uh, the uh, uh, entry desk at once now. They That used to be kind of a, like they wouldn't, they didn't used to do that. Now, I don't get why, why are all these guys just chilling down here when they could be waiting in the queue, they could be sitting on a bench, and they're doing neither of those. Um, was was it because they were eating when uh, when the plane was, uh, you know what I mean? Like when the plane pulled up or something? Hmm, I don't know. But that is our last flight for the day. So we're gonna see it take off and that's gonna put us in good shape for tomorrow. We're gonna have a lot of flights going to have a lot of fun and so many passengers transferring through our thing. Now, what have we gotten over here in the storage? Toilet, doors, 
sinks, vending machine, and a baggage hub? All right, well, on oh, decorative bush too, huh? All right, well, the vending machines we can we can set up pretty easily. How do we get a dumpster in here? Um, we don't really have any vending stuff up here, so let's go ahead and put those up against this wall here. Uh, put in ATM. Like that. Another one there. One on the corner. <clears throat> that wasn't all of them because it didn't indicate that we had done all of them, so we'll put some more over here. There you go. Um, I guess that was all of them, but that's all right. Uh, electronics vending. Put some of those in there like that. Nope, you can't quite fit, can you? But you can fit. And I guess we'll put another one over here. There we go. And the food vending. Oh, no, not drinks, food. There we are. Put one there. And then we'll do this and put one over here. And one in there. And I guess room for another one. There we go. Great. Um, let's put some garbage cans in. Just for the heck of it. I already had quite a few up there. So I went in that corner, why not? And plant, decorative plant B? No. De yeah, there's no, oh, there's cafe chair B is what that was. All right, let's, uh, let's see what else we have in our storage area over here. Still a lot of stuff. Decorative bush too, got it. And some doors and sinks and toilets. No big deal with those. <clears throat> I think I can squeeze a couple toilets in here. All right, um, objects, decorative bush too. got plenty of these to stick around. Maybe one over here. There we go. Great. That's all of them. Uh, oh, there's our PA speaker, which we don't have yet, but we'll have soon. Whatever good it's going to do us. Um, is that? No. I thought that might have... Oh, show wires. Oh. Wow. And fuel tank. Hmm. When, uh, when has that become a thing? Are we going to need to refuel our planes all of a sudden? And the wiring thing. That's interesting. Um, I don't see anything in here for laying down wiring or like transformers or anything like that. But that's uh, that's a little peek into uh, a little peek into the future of Sam Airport, I guess. Not entirely sure how I feel about that. But I don't know. I mean, I kind of like the baggage system thing. I know a lot of people didn't care for it, but I I actually kind of like it. So I wouldn't mind a little additional complexity from something like that. Let's uh, go ahead and expand our foundation out a little bit here. Just need to have some money set aside for when we need to buy an expansion of our uh, land area. Oh, okay, it's definitely not going to take 92 hours. Hey, look at that, our first plane in our new gate. Um, people getting off the plane are stuck, which is weird. That does remind me, though, I should put in a uh, large sliding door here, maybe, and here. Look at those people lining up nicely in the in the queue there. How do they go about boarding? Seems like they're doing all right on their boarding and everything too. Although they're not quite handling the queue the way that I might have hoped, but.
Um, yeah, they do have to walk an awful long way to get into the queue. I probably should have set the queue to go up, over, and down, and that would have uh, gotten them through it a little faster. But it's no big deal. It's not like it's not like we're not. It's no big deal. We are getting all of our planes out on time. There we go. Cut down on the number of negatives. So this should actually be red tile through there. that. Mark that up there. And uh, where's our beautiful red carpeting? Right there. Like that. And then we go build <coughs> foundation. We're going to foundationize through there. And foundationize up into, up into, whoops, cancel. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Foundation There we go. Put a foundation there. Thank you. And we'll put a foundation here. Very good. And we'll put a foundation here. I like it. Now, why they build that foundation before they build the carpeting? I'll never know. Looks like our first plane in gate D1 got out and had no problems. Just, oh, well, that was weird. Why you would do that? Probably not a good idea to pull a Yui on the on the uh, uh, runway. So we are going to clear this out. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't think you can actually. Can I can I demolish it? Maybe. Probably not. Hmm. Maybe that once you build it, it is there for good. For all time. Oh. They were not supposed to build the walls in this section, but they did. It's okay. Oh, but they will cross right through there, huh? I see how you come up with your priorities, game. And I, I don't know if I like them. And we're going to come back up here to the top. And we're going to clear out this nonsense right there. Get out of here, nonsense. And then we're going to go to planning, and we're going to clear planning for all of this stuff. Through there and up through here, too. I, I don't know why I'm being so precise that I don't... Like, I know, I know that there's going to be uh, gates there. I don't need to be so persnickety about not clearing the planning out, but... You know, I want to do a good job for you guys. I want you to be impressed with me. Um, you know what else I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the planning out of here. And then I am going to build a foundation in there. So we can put like a, maybe a little cafe or something. Not a cafe, but a snack bar or something like that up in there. Definitely could get some more benches. You know, that sort of thing. Um, if we go to objects and we go to decorative plants, like that right there, we can lay down some more of these bad boys. We've already established a pattern. Oh, I don't really like the way that pattern's been set, though. There we go. Just lay them down like that down those plants, keep people happy as they walk by. Come down here just to line up the existing stuff. There we are, great. So we're gonna have gate ticketing area here, gate ticketing area here. So this probably mostly be uh, benches and stuff and uh, like I said, a cafe, so why? No point, in oh look at that. Oh my gosh, lights, very cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh my, wow, I really want to see how that works. Um, outdoor floodlight. Well, that's even better than the other light.
All sorts of cool new stuff. Decorative statue B. Wah, wah. What the? Holy mackerel. You know, well, we actually have quite a bit of decoration in there, but we don't have a whole lot of decoration in here. So let's put that in there. Oh, and that too. Decorative statue A. Boy, Sim, uh, Sim Airport, you continue to surprise me. Not that those are particularly attractive, but still. Just the very idea that you're putting new stuff in there. I find that really neat. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cancel. One, two, three. Rotate, rotate. One, 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 five. There you go. Um, and that's going to be it for that. Um, yeah, i got to wait until we uh, finish our research. 92%, so we're very close on that research. Matter of fact, we may be able to expand... Well, I doubt we'd be able to get that, that new runway in by tomorrow, though. Although I suppose it's possible. Let's let these guys finish up their work before I get too excited. Oh, shit. I changed benches. Well, that's very unfortunate. Oh, well. Um, so we're going to come back over here. We're going to grab this floor number seven. And we're going to florify that area. And we're going to florify this area. Like that. Oh, I don't like that that... That one's wall piece is there. Silly, silly wall piece, and I'm not going to be able to tear it down until they get that floor out. Um, we're going to put in a large gate right here. And then we're going to put in um, a ticket, no, a gate. Gate agent desks. Now, do I want to try that try that weird line thing? You know what? I'm not going to try the weird line thing this time. I'm just going to go more conventional. Don't rock the boat. Um, and we have the single queue for, for these gates, and the single queue is working out really well. So I'm not going to try anything too different for this one either. I'm just going to stick with the single queue formula that seems to be working very well. We're going to wrap it all around, though. We're going to make it a really... It's going to be like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, this queue. It's going to be so crazy and bending and twisty. You're not going to believe your eyes when you see how it is finished uh, like this. That's how it's finished. There we go. Very good. I like it. And um, then we go to objects, and we go to a large uh, sliding a door like that. There we go. Great. And we're going to give it give it a minute cuz I got to lay all this floor tile stuff down. We could even put in gate number 6 while we're at it uh, because getting that uh, that new um, getting the new uh, runway will will definitely allow us to put in a couple more gates. So we're going to do that and I'm going to turn off the timer. And uh, I guess I will set up a little, like I'll set up the next queue and all that stuff uh, in between episodes. So there we go, guys. Um, we've made good progress this episode. And um, we are on our way to our third runway. Which, I have to say, I find quite exciting. Then again, I find pretty much everything exciting. That's, uh, that's um, like a side effect of making these videos. Is, uh, uh, I, I'm easily entertained. And I also want to come across with a positive attitude. So, but it's all it's all sincere. I really am enjoying this. So don't think I'm just like playing it up. Um, I mean, I should hope you don't think I'm playing it up because as excited as I get, it's it's still just like one step above Stephen Wright. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you're having a good time. I am. We just talked about that, didn't we? Uh, leave me a comment and click that like button. That's a good way to express your pleasure. And I will see you next time. Bye.